Oi! Someone tell me what the hell this green screen talking about. Jeff Goldblum. What does Jeff Goldblum want? I want my, my money back. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. And um, I, I want angels to, to give it to me. Uh. <laughs> and, um, mm. oh, uh, pixies to, uh, to count it out for me. And uh, a gnome or a hobbit or an elf to sleep at the foot of my bed and, and have, I just, I just want them all over my backyard. But no matter what happens with any of that, I do want my money back. Pokemon's Legends Arceus. A massive fucking disappointment. You're a fucking disappointment. I was gonna try to sugarcoat this video, try to make it lighthearted, but to be honest, I wasted $60 on this game. On this tech demo. This checklist. And I could not stand by while the Pokemon community famed its existence because it's not deserved. This checklist is literally just about catching 240 Pokemon over and over and over again. Beating them over and over and over again. Watching them use the same move over and over again. There is no story. The story is... Arceus sends you down from the future, from the sky. You become part of the survey, survey Corps that is surveying the Hisui region, which will eventually become the Sinnoh region. How do you do that? You go to five different areas, befriend five different ride Pokemon, and you battle five different noble Pokemon. How do you battle these five notable Pokemon? Take it away, Ahulahan. Just remember the five D's of dodgeball. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. And you throw bags of food at them. No Pokemon battle whatsoever. It's a waste of time. You can Pokemon battle, but it's a waste of time. You're just going to make your Pokemon faint, and they're just not going to get the XP from the battle. What's the point when you can literally 5Ds and throw bags of food at it? And that's all you have to do. After... Completing the game to a hundred percent after catching 240 different Pokemon and completing their Pokedex entry, which consists of a fucking checklist that's insane to think anybody wants to spend any time. People have done it, I've seen it. You've monsters have completed this 200% for no fucking reason other than to torture yourselves. What is the last battle? Against, leg against the legendary Arceus? 
on the title? Is it a Pokemon battle like Garatina where you're almost on the crux? Is it that hard of a battle? No. It's five Ds. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. That's all you do while throwing special bags of food. Or orbs or whatever. Congratulations. You fucking played yourself playing this game. I played myself because I played this game. Play the kit, Kent. Play the fucking clip. They charged us sixty dollars for this. And we just ate it up. This was supposed to be Pokemon meets Monster Hunter meets Breath of the Wild. But it was, hello, complete this checklist. Goodbye. The game mechanics they made are phenomenal. The battle system that they made is fucking amazing. But they put it in nothing. They let it they let us test it and now from the looks of it they're they're doing away with it this is from as far as i'm concerned this is it this is going to be another let's go situation where it's just an experiment to see what we think and they don't care they're they're still not making games like this this is it Scarlet and Violet's going to be like the rest of the other games. It's going to have eight gems, which I, I love. Don't get me wrong. I love that formula. I wish that formula was here. And, the, and this. Why? Why does this only consist of the fucking Pokédex? Story progression doesn't matter. You have to complete the Pokédex to progress in this. You have to. You don't have to complete it 100%, but you have to aim to complete it. You have to. To get any kind of rank up, you have to do the Pokédex. Side quest. Main quest. It don't matter. It don't go to anything. You gotta do the Pokédex. I'm just repeating myself because there's nothing here. The soundtrack is forgettable. Let's face it. I don't usually mind this. Usually the soundtrack is amazing for me. But this... We deserved more than this. And it has me scared for what Scarlet and Violet's going to be. I much rather than wait. Please. The next game doesn't need to come out next year. Hell. Or the year after that. 
wait. Give the next game three, four, five years of development, of development time, please. This is proof that your games, Game, game Freak, Pokemon Company, needs more time. Or you get nothing. You make nothing. Great mechanics are wasted on nothing. I can't say any more. If you've been listening this long, thank you so much. Please like, comment, share the video around, please. Subscribe to Always Something Productions and turn on notifications. And I have to give a shout out to our video editor, Kent Crampley. He got fucking pissed that I didn't introduce him into, other, in, into the introduction video. I thought putting him in the credits of every video was going to be enough. And me just saying, hey, Kemp, every so often. But no, that, he was infuriated that I didn't say in anything about him. So here it is. Thank you, Kent, for editing the videos of Always Something Productions, including my dumbass videos as well. This has been The Living Green Screen. And as always, Magoostalation. Nice one, son. You'll be an all-star.